Hello everyone, so today we will proceed with our sub D tutorial and uh, yeah, let's let's start it. Let's make a plane scaled by 10 and rotate it on 90 degrees. We'll apply new material. Simple lumber shader and add the texture already prepared so let's assign it grid and enter the shaded mode press six grid so we have this uh base you can imagine that will be some kind of box or something like that okay we'll probably move it and try to align to the grid Roughly, not precise now. You know, maybe I will and leave it like that. Okay, so let's create a cube. And, uh, yeah, we can just, uh, try to scale it. As well, for this cube, I will assign new material. And, uh, probably I will use blend. I will add transparency in order to see through the shader and I will remove all circularity <coughs> in order to do not disturb do not disturb ourselves okay so let's select it let's scale it something goes to the our reference image here. Great. So I'll move our reference image just a bit. And uh, right now probably I will try to scale it inwards a bit. I'll snap it on two grids from one side in the Z and uh, and here two grids something like that okay great but it's up to you totally up to you if you want you can leave it better or let's say bigger yep okay so what's next we have a scale awesome they want to do now i want to have a separation in here so i will go to the cut tool this one or a control shift x okay so let's add it here awesome okay so probably now i will right click we'll go to a blend and remove that uh, transparency okay so i will select the edge corners Yep, and just do bevel. I want to have them round. Yep, I'll increase segments. Awesome. Great. So, what we can do next? And select these spaces and extrude it. Yep. Probably I will pick offset point one. Look pretty decent. Okay, so let's do extrusion one more time. Point one under the Z axis. Yeah, great. And we have something like that. So what I will do next, I will uh, when we Faces are selected. I'll just press Ctrl, Alt, and E. This is my uh, shortcut for uh, extraction. This button for extract here yeah. under poly modeling. Okay, so let's move over and uh, yeah, what we will do in this situation, I will select 
this loop, select this loop, and right click and shift, and go to a bridge tool and bridge it. Everything, yeah. So, and okay, let's check it out. And what I will do next, I will separate probably, or no, you know, I will probably bevel the lines first. These two and these two, bevel and remove chamfer. Awesome. Let's check it out how the bevel look. Great. Definitely, we need supportive lines. No problem. I will use only one. Okay, so let's use the connect tool. We can press connect. Definitely, we can reduce middle mouse. Reduce the Line got a segment count, yeah, and press enter. Awesome. Okay, so we have the line in there. Let's select this two and yeah, can use again connect tool. And I'm using shortcut for a connect tool. And uh, you can use this button or create your own shortcuts. Yeah, great. Okay. So, what we can do now, we can select import and extract. Yeah. Okay. So, I will select the arm, select the edge, deselect these edges, and these edges in order to get a bridge to work. Correct because we cannot select everything here. Yeah. Need the uh, edges you can connect. And uh, there is some kind of problem. Okay, so this edge additional and if not cannot understand why, but uh, yeah, this one too. Okay, so let's control delete now the del delete this edges. Well, in case if we will need them, we will create them again. Okay, so let's just select these lines and these lines. Okay, so let's perform this bridge. Let's go to the bridge tool and bridge it. And uh, for divisions, we need two. So I will select the edge, line that. Edge and select another edge, line it with a different one. Great, I will select vertex points and merge groups and merge them. And we need to increase the threshold. I'm not sure if all vertex points was merged. Okay. For a okay, so looks like all of them was merged. Great. So let's perform same operation in here. No, the faster way probably will be just delete this out. Just duplicate it. Please everything. Please transformation. Clear the history. And mirror of the scale axis yeah combine it and merge vertices awesome simple like that okay so let's check this out on this side okay i will remove these lines in order to be consistent with the but top part and in case we will need we will add them yeah and probably I did mistake because we don't need only these two lines yeah great okay so uh, let's perform same operation select the edges Deselect these edges.
and just bridge it. Awesome, increase divisions. And then let's align with the main edges. Yeah. Great. Let's merge it. Yeah, I will delete half of it. Half of this part. Freeze everything. Duplicate. Mirror over the X. Combine it. And merge with point. Awesome. Yes, so. Let's check. Definitely, we need uh, supportive lines in here in order to get sharper edges. See how big the stretching is, and we don't need to worry about that. Can easily do the bevel in here without chamfer, and that's it. We will get these lines. Okay, let's do bevel, remove chamfer. Okay, maybe something like this. Try to use fraction point one in order to align these lines. I will remove these lines and will merge everything in all the lines. Yeah, all the vertex points. Great. So let's try to select these guys. Yeah. And just delete. Check it out. Uh, it will look, look much more sharper as you can see. Definitely we're missing a lot of I mean, the amazing support appliance. Yeah, because we have so big stretching. However, we will add it later as we want to work with the less as much as possible division. I mean, uh, geometry should be light fast. Yeah. In that manner, we can easily align and play with, uh, uh, let's say, lines and optimize it. And later on, definitely, we can add divisions, supportive lines, etc., etc. Right now, we're working with a base. We need to maintain the shape with a less as possible divisions. Great. Yes, let me check what do we have. It's looking better. Definitely. Okay. Okay, awesome. So we created this chapter with base. Probably I will leave it right now, for now I mean as it is, and uh, later on we will add our handle which we already created, few knobs I believe, the handles to that box and it will be looking great. Yeah, so in the next tutorial probably we will start working on this circular part. Yeah. So, okay, stay tuned and see ya.